Hello, guardians. Which Gertie is the best one for playing live? You're about to find out. Also, stay until the end to see an extra secret from me for you to find out which Gertie you need. We are about to get ready for rehearsal, so I have to be quick. <laughs> one of the very important factors is that the Gertie is stable enough to go through different temperature and humidity changes while traveling and also that it is stable enough to keep the tuning. I have two of my Gertie's here. They are very different. It always depends on your genre that you're playing and also on how you're playing, like in what kind of group. For example, when you're on stage with a band and you're the main melody instrument, it kind of makes sense a bit more to go for a more mid or treble sounding instrument. Whether when you're playing alone as a solo Gertist, it might make more sense to go for a Gertie that has a lot of bass and a very even sound and maybe even a warmer, softer sound. Some people like that. I'm always playing with a band or with a big arrangement, so I choose my instruments that way. I want them to be stable so they don't lose pitch, and I want them to be so that you can hear them in a mix. This Gertie is made by Walter Simons, and I love this one in particular because it gives me a lot of strings options, so it doesn't really matter which key I'm playing in. With a few changes, I can be in any key, whatever I want to, basically. This Gertie is made by Wolfgang Weichselbaumer. It's really awesome because while it is a little bit more fragile, I feel, it is partly made of carbon, which again makes it more stable. So while here this is completely made out of wood, and you have to really make sure that the wood is stable enough through temperature changes. The carbon on this one holds everything together a bit more. Another super important part is pickups and microphones. Again, it completely depends on what you want to do with your Gertie and what kind of genre you're playing and with which other instruments you're playing. I, for example, I'm on stage with a drum set very often, so I have to have at least an option to play with a built-in microphone or pickup that doesn't pick up a lot of sound from around and just picks up the vibrations from inside the bridge, basically. Here, for example, you see a little bit of this cork thing. I think this is what's surrounding the microphone to not pick up so many surrounding sounds. And the other microphones, they are also built in. So here, those pickups are all built in so that they really only pick up the sound from that bridge. My other Gertie actually has those microphones with a uh, special kind of uh, rubber or a plastic wrapped around. So the microphone is basically like pressed into this rubber and I can be on stage with a drum set and with a, with a big crowd around me without having everything on the audio. If you're only on a folk stage or on a very silent uh, stage, you can actually go for an actual microphone in front of your wheel. This one sounds extremely natural and I love it, but it is also completely useless if I'm on my you know, band stage. On those days, I actually have it turned off on the side here. If you found these tips helpful, or at least interesting, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and also turning on the notifications. And now comes my special secret tip, which is for visibility on stage. I, on this Gertie, I actually asked the painter who did the paint job to leave this part of the Gertie a little bit lighter than the rest. I'm not sure if it shows on camera, but that's so that I get more contrast between the black keys and the green background basically, so that I can see which keys I'm pushing, even though the lighting situation on stage is sometimes very complicated, or even, you know, with a strobe, with flickering lights, with uh, maybe even black light on some stages, or fogs, <laughs> yeah. So having as much contrast as you can is really good. Also on this one, you can see I have a lot of con contrast here, but I actually even have a another solution now, which is, I have a few funny points here, a few dots. So I put a drop of instant glue on certain keys so that I can feel which key I'm on or how far I am away from a certain key so that I don't even have to look down anymore. I can just feel it. Okay, so this should give you a good overview 
for what to look for in a girlie to play live on stage. That's my answer for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye bye. Special thanks go out to my Patreon supporters on patreon.com slash These videos wouldn't be possible without you.